The best stuff in here is obviously these video games. Uh, they're all Wii U games. <laughs> YouTube, Kurt Curtis, some part-time eBay seller. Had a pretty busy week this week. A lot's been going on. It's been pretty fun, though. But first things first, I was guest on the podcast show called The Curious Fellow Show, hosted by my good friend Brian Bear Butler. I talk about selling on eBay and investing and other things as well. I'm going to leave a link in the video description below um, if you want to check that out. But it should be available on Spotify, Podbean, iTunes, and um, Apple Podcasts app. Um, if you just type in The Curious Fellow Show, it should come up. Um, if not, I am going to post the video of that podcast on my channel either late tonight or tomorrow. So it'll be available here eventually. But if you want to hear it sooner, you can check it out there. Um, as far as sales go, I just sold a bunch of stuff this week, just like the last few weeks. Like, it's been crazy. So in this episode, I'm going to show you everything that sold this week. I also did a local buy. So I picked up some good stuff from that. I'll show you that. And I also have a few pin openings um, that I'll show you at the end of the video as well. So um, yeah, let's get right to it. Sunday night, I have 13 orders to pull, pack and ship out tomorrow morning before work. I think this is the most I've ever had um, in one day. So yeah, we'll get right to it. First up, uh, Fiendhorn Elves sold for $2.99. As always, Magic Cards itself for less than $10. I'm shipping with two stamps a regular stamp and an additional ounce stamp. So it'll ship for 70 cents. Next up is actually a little lot from the first Magic Buy. Um, this is a lot of four of these oversized Commander cards. Um, they're pretty cool. This lot ended up selling for $18.99. Sold this card, Seed Time, ended up selling for $4.24. Next up, I have a lot of DVDs. These are pre-owned, but the discs are in like pretty much perfect condition. This is seasons one through six of House. I've had these for a while, so I took an offer of 20 bucks. I think I had them listed for 25, but um, I paid a dollar each for these at a yard sale. Um, they're gonna ship media mail, so because of that, I mean, I'm still gonna probably more than double my money after fees and shipping. Got another DVD sale. Got this Miramax Wes Craven series, like Dracula movies and stuff. This is brand new sealed. I got this for $2 at an estate sale. Ended up selling for $21.24. And this has got to be like one of my favorite kind of items to sell, especially can find uh, ones that have some value. It's brand new sealed. There's no testing. There's no cleaning. When I list it, I take two pictures front and back. And when it sells, I just throw it in a padded envelope. It's super easy. Sold a manga lot. Got this lot of three. Don't really know how to say this. Um, I have 37 cents a piece into these, so I have a dollar and 11 cents in the stack. Ended up selling for 10.24. So, with my eBay strategy and how I do things, is I lower the price 5% every month. An item's been listed, so a lot of these mangas are listed pretty cheap now because I got these back in the fall. So I've been lowering the price on these since the fall. But um, I'm not trying to hold on to stuff forever, so I'm still making money here. And um, yeah. Got another magic card going out. This one's called Steel Enchantment, sold for $3.24. Sold a t-shirt, got a band shirt, Panic at the Disco. This is actually a pretty basic shirt, but um, I guess someone still wanted it. I got this for a dollar and six cents at a thrift store, ended up selling for $15.19. All right, I finally sold one of these t-shirts. I actually have five of these. These are brand new. I have them buried in there just because no one ever buys them. No one has ever bought one until now. Um, I got these like two years ago. This was like retail arbitrage off of Walmart clearance. I think they were $1.50. These were some of the first things I bought ever to try to flip on eBay. Um, yeah, I got a multi-quantity listing. I don't even know what this is, a show or a movie or something. Not really sure. Ended up selling for $9.99. I'm not making much here, only a few dollars, but it is what it is. Sold this little lot of four, Gorgon's Head. Ended up selling for $2.99. Next up is a pretty solid Magic Card sale. We've got Enlightened Tutor. This is in really good condition. Ended up selling for $29.99. Sold this um, Sony external antenna connector EAC6 thing. Not really sure what this is. I got it at an estate sale though, because it's new. 
I paid 66 cents for it, ended up selling for $11.99. Last up for the day is another manga lot. Got this lot of three. Um, full Metal Alchemist. The 37 cents a piece into these, so I have a dollar and 11 cents in the stack, ended up selling for 10.24. So here's what all that looks like, all packed up. Got the little cheaper magic cards up in the envelopes up there, and yeah, and uh, this all this stuff will easily fit into one of these giant uh, IKEA bags. These things are really handy. Most people know that, but um, almost every time everything can fit in there, bring it to the post office, good to go. All right, it's Monday night. I have 10 orders to pack and ship out tomorrow morning. Um, lots of smalls, lots of low-cost items, but trust me, this stuff adds up quick. First up, we got Lot of Two, Hammer of Perforo, sold for two sixty. Got this little lot of four, ended up selling for $249. Sold Ashnod's Altar, this ended up selling for $399. Sold Primeval Bounty, this ended up selling for $574. Next up, sold this um, Star Wars Legion Movement Tool and Range Ruler Pack. This is consignment item, ended up selling for $999. Next up, got this card, ended up selling for $4.74. Got a t-shirt sale, wrestling shirt, got this Seth Rollins shirt. I almost kept this, and I probably should have. Um, it only ended up selling for $11.39. Um, these wrestling shirts, I kind of overpaid for. A lot of them I paid like three, four bucks for. Um, I'm not sure if this one's one of them. But um, yeah, I know the older ones, vintage ones, are obviously good. But um, I've just learned that the newer wrestling shirts don't sell as good as I thought they would. However, I'll still pick them up in the future if I could get them for cheap, but definitely not for three, four bucks. But yep. Sold this uh, Cabela's outdoor gear, short sleeve button up shirt. This is a 3XL, so this is a huge shirt. I picked up a couple of these at an estate sale. I paid four bucks for this. Um, I took an offer of $20, so not too bad. Sold Young Pyromancer, lot of four. This slot ended up selling for $5.49. I apologize for all the magic card sales, but it's just the inventory I have right now. And if you price it right, this stuff kind of flies off the shelf, um, especially with no yard sales and stuff to go to. Um, it is what it is. Last up for the day is Mogus God of Slaughter. Ended up selling for $6.99. This is the second copy I sold. I found two in that big collection. Here's everything all packed up. Got the stack of the cheaper magic cards here, and here are the other items. So on a day like this, um, this doesn't even require a trip to the post office. All this stuff can fit in one of those blue drop boxes, and I have one of those like maybe 100 feet from where I live. So just before work, I just walk to it real quick, drop everything in, and just get on with my day. I don't even have to make a trip to the post office. This doesn't happen that often, but when it does, it's really nice. Uh, it's just a lot easier. Not that the post office is far at all, but... Um, just a much shorter trip and I know some people don't trust those drop boxes but I've used them for uh, ever since I can remember and I've never had a problem yet so um, I'll just keep doing it but yeah it's Tuesday night I'm exhausted but I got some orders to pack up got to keep grinding got to keep stacking those dividends um, first up got this lot of four Sensi bars paid 50 cents a piece for these so like two dollars into this lot ended up selling for $25.49 Next up, sold Goblin Guide. This ended up selling for $10.99. Uh, things have definitely changed with this. I remember when I used to play, this used to be like a $30, $40 card. But it is what it is. Got a pretty decent uh, DVD sale. Got End of the Line. This is new sealed. I got this for $2 at an estate sale. Ended up selling for $20.49. Sold Perplexing Chimera. This is a foil card. Ended up selling for $2.99. All right, I think this is the last sweatshirt from that lot of uh, blank vintage sweatshirts and sweatpants and stuff I got in the state sale that one time. Uh, this is a heavyweight Lee vintage made in USA. Got this for $2, ended up selling for $25.49. Next up, got a pretty good magic card sale. Sold Thought Seas, ended up selling for $24.99. Sold a Guild Ball miniature. We got Mason's Guild Granite. This ended up selling for $14.24. And last up for the day, we've got Expedition Map. This ended up selling for $3.99. Here's everything packed up going out tomorrow. I was actually pretty happy with the sales today. 
Um, a lot of decent ones, so can't really complain here. It's Thursday morning. I have six orders to pack and ship today. But before that, I just hung up this new um, Magic card, this Space Godzilla. And as you can see, the rest of its name is pretty controversial. What's going on right now? But um, basically, I was um, showing my one of the Magic collections I bought and I had a friend message me. He wanted some cards. They were nothing crazy. So I just sent him the cards for free and he was so kind to send me this back. The story behind this card is um, these were print uh, Magic cards are printed way in advance. So this card was printed before this whole situation was happening. And um, so these only came out with this name under the, the first printing because they stopped, they stopped releasing them. So there was this huge speculation that this card was going to be super valuable. It was like uh, it's really expensive, but the price has like dropped drastically. So um, I don't think this is going to end up being worth too much. So I'm just going to hang it up. If it, if it ever in the future ends up being a super valuable card, I'll sell it. But for now, it's just going to be a good decoration for the wall and a good gift. So if you're watching, thank you for sending me the card. I appreciate it. Um, first order going out today is this vintage perfume. Uh, this is like almost full. So it's not even brand new. This is, I just love this kind of sale. I just can't believe it. I got this for a dollar at an estate sale and it ended up selling for $36.24. Um, it's gonna have to be shipped ground because it's perfume and it's flammable, but still like, what a flip. The next three Magic Card sales are actually from the first collection I bought. I finally got around to listing some of those cards individually. Um, these cards were pretty beat up, so I had to list them as heavy play condition, which means I'm not getting top dollar for them. But there's a bunch of Magic players out there that they don't care about the condition for the card. They just want to play the game. They just need the card for the deck. So, you know, they'll just buy the one with uh, some damage to get the cheaper price on it, which is fine with me. First up, Protein Hydra sold for $2.99. Got Swan Song. This ended up selling for $5.99. I don't really know how to say this card. Something Crusade ended up selling for $3.99. Don't really know how to say this card either. Something Bond. This is a lot of three. Ended up selling for $8.74. And the last thing going out today, which might actually be the sale of the week, is this lot of 23 um, manga books. It's called Happy. These are actually in Japanese. Um, I have a lot of mangas in Japanese, and they don't sell very often at all. I actually, I think this is only the second lot I've sold. But um, yeah, I got I paid twelve dollars for this lot. Ended up selling for ninety twenty four. So really good sale here. Um, these will be able to be shipped media mail, so it's not going to cost that much to ship. Probably only around five bucks to ship this thing. So yeah, really good sale here. Here's everything that's going out today, all packed up. I was wrong about the mangas. Uh, the box was a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be, so it's going to end up costing around $8 to ship out, but that's still not too bad considering what I got for it. Not going to complain there. It's Friday morning. I have five items to pack up and ship out today. First up, we got this Descent figurine, new in package. This ended up selling for $33.99. Of course, I have some magic cards going out. Got this lot of four, Burnished Heart. Ended up selling for $3.74. Sold Journey to Nowhere, a lot of four. This ended up selling for $2.49. Next up, I sold this uh, Link Cutlass Stencil Cutting Kit. This is new in package, but the package is pretty beat up. Pretty sure this is vintage. Got this for $2 at an estate sale. Ended up selling for $12.74. Last up for the day, Slumbering Dragon. This sold for $2.49. Here's everything all packed up. Pretty light day today. All right, it's Saturday morning, and I actually only have one order to ship out today, so things definitely slowed down towards the end of the week. But um, it's a decent sale, so I'm not going to complain. Got this pair of men's Citizens of Humanity jeans. Um, I got these at a thrift store for $3.85. They ended up selling for $33.99. Not all, but a lot of jeans and even sweatshirts can fit in these padded flat rate envelopes and it'll save you a couple dollars on shipping. All right, just got done from doing a local buy. This was off of a friend. Uh, he cut me a really good deal, so I appreciate that. Um, I'm not sure if you watch these videos still or ever have, but if, if you do see this, thank you, dude. This, is, um, this helps me out a lot without yard sales and stuff going on right now. I paid $60 for all this stuff. 
So the, the main, the best stuff in here is obviously these video games. Uh, they're all Wii U games. Uh, this is obviously the best one. This is The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. This is brand new sealed. So this alone should pretty much pay for everything. Um, we also got pre-owned um, Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Got Super Smash Bros. Got Super Mario, Super Mario 3D World. And um, this game. The discs are all in pretty good shape. Um, also, threw in some books. I don't know, this is some kind of comic thing. There's some wrestling books. I've actually read this back in the day, and I've read this one too back in the day. These probably don't have value. I'm not really sure. Um, this book, I haven't looked this up or anything, so I don't know. But I'll look them up and see. Got a couple Blu-rays. He threw these in for me to watch if I want before I sell them, or if I even do. At Crossroads, Eric Clapton, Guitar Festival, and uh, WrestleMania 26. And also, I have this women's jacket. It's a Levi's jacket. Um, I was told it was only worn once, so it seems to be in pretty good condition. It's a nice, nice coat. I might wait to list this until it starts getting colder, but we'll see. But yeah, uh, pretty good pickup. I'm excited about the video games, and I'll have to look into this other stuff as well. All right, guys, so here's another item similar to the pins, but it's not a pin. It's a T-shirt. They only made 50 of these T-shirts. Uh, sold out pretty quickly once it dropped. It's pretty cool. Um, this is not a blind bag situation. I know exactly what it is. They're all the same, but I'm going to show it to you guys anyway. And I also picked up a mask for myself from the same artist. Oh, okay. Here's the shirt. I'm probably actually going to leave it in the, ba in the bag. I didn't realize it was going to be in the bag, but... Kind of has this dragon on it with this all over print dragon shirt. It's really cool. And I think the shirt's all polyester too. Yeah, let's see. Limited run of 50. So hopefully that will do well. And I'll open the mask since this is not the flip in. This is just for me. Comes with these little pad things. Looks like this. Pretty cool. But yeah, that's that. Guys, got another pin opening. Pretty excited about this one. There's 315 total pins, um, sold out instantly. There's 150 of one LE, 75 of another LE, 50, a 25, and 15. So I'll try to get the 15 here. Let's see. It's a pretty cool pin. It's a seahorse. But um, yeah, I'm nervous here. Hmm. Ah, all right, I got the 150, <clears throat> so did get the most common one, but look how cool that looks. Yeah, uh, once again, just because it's the most common one doesn't mean it's worthless. You could still make good money on it. Like I said, these things sell it instantly, but it's just really nice if you can get the, the rarer colors. I'm just waiting for this post office worker to deliver my flamingo pin. I got another pin opening. There's only 265 of these pins. It's a flamingo. There is only four color variants. Uh, 120 of one, 75 of another, 50 of another, and 20 of the last one. So let's see what I get. Okay, this is good. I got the 50. That's really nice. So that's the second rarest one of the four, and they only made 50 of this color. Um, yeah, I can't complain here. This is a really good pull. Before I leave, I did actually make an Instagram account, and I also have a Twitter account from a long time ago that I'm going to start using again. Both of them are at KurtCurtis21. I'll leave links in the video description if you want to follow me on those platforms. Until next week. The whole place is dark Every light on the side of the town